What is up, everybody? Hope you all are doing well. If you've seen my most recent upload, you'll know that I recently went through back surgery. So with that being said, and all of that kind of just happening so recently, I'm not able to really lift or exercise or be too physical in general. So I thought, what a better chance to get some more uploads on my channel. Additionally, um, I just purchased this 2013 WRX I have behind me that I am absolutely in love with. So I wanted to take this time to really go around the car, talk about it a little bit, see what's done to it already, and uh, really what to expect with this car moving forward. So without further ado, let's check it out. All right, we're switching over to the new iPhone 11 wide um, zoom out lens. I don't know if that's what you would call it, but um, honestly, I'm so amazed with the quality of this camera and kind of the zoom capabilities. I absolutely love it. It really gives kind of like a fisheye type lens on your phone, super cool. All right, nonetheless, yes, I have before me my um, 2013 Subaru Impreza WRX, and um, this is a car I've wanted for so long. I was initially looking at um, the SCI alternative, but at least in my area and um, kind of the Seattle area in general, these Subarus are one, so overpriced compared to other parts of the country. Excuse the crunching of leaves and whatnot. But um, I really couldn't find a low mileage STI for under like $20,000. People were still asking well above $20,000 with like 160,000 miles. So that was enough for me to really just kind of look for the 2011 through 2014 WRX hatchbacks. Um, I do like the sedans, but I think the hatchbacks are just so unique and I absolutely love the way they look. So let's go around the car and uh, check it out. So this is the uh, dark gray metallic color. Um, obviously I wanted that World Rally blue, but I have, I will say I have fallen in love with this color itself, though I don't think this will be its permanent color. I am really impressed with this uh, kind of metallic flake it has. Don't think you'll be able to pick it up on the camera. And of course it is already so dirty, but um, that's kind of what you get living in Seattle. It's always either rainy, sunny, whatever. But uh, moving forward, um, we have some Enki RPF1s on the car. The fitment, not too great or anything. And we're missing those center caps, you already know. Um, but uh, these are 17 inches. Um, I think the exact specs are 17 by eight. Uh, tire specs are 225, 45, R17. So um, pretty much the stock setup. Um, I'll get into why I don't have the stock wheels in a later video. Um, having to do with my buyer experience and why I don't have them anymore. But kind of moving forward, um, this is, as I mentioned, the hatchback. So we have um, your typical four-door sedan setup. And then as you're moving to the back, we have kind of the five-door or the hatchback, which opens up to um, a huge spacious trunk, which I'll show you guys right now. excuse kind of some of the stuff we had to use that blanket to get the wheels in the car and everything but it fits super spacious so that's what the hatchback opens like and um, right here we have this giant kind of single exit exhaust sticking out uh we have a full titanium tomy i think it's the t1 or the n1 no nvidia's n1 tomy the t1 full titanium single exit exhaust which came on the car when i purchased it Honestly, um, I do love the way it sounds and I don't think I've ever had a better sounding exhaust kind of paired with that Subaru Rumble. I absolutely love it, but um, I'm not a huge fan of the single exit look. Maybe that's just me, but I don't know. I feel like uh, dual exits just fit better or look better, but that is all my personal opinion, of course. So we'll see if we keep that. Kind of continuing to walk around, we have the pretty pretty stock car other than the exhaust and the wheels um, and a few interior pieces which i'll show you guys in a little bit but uh, that kind of does it for the exterior part of the car um, no major dense scrapes um, clean title two owners i am the third um, the car has just under seventy thousand miles when i purchased it but uh kind of already working my way up there because i absolutely love driving this car but that'll really do it for the exterior of this car. I have big plans for what I want to do with it, but uh, for now, it's just uh, your pretty stock with wheels, um, five door Subaru hatchback. Let's check out the inside. Yeet. Oh. Interior, nothing too special. Um, you have all your kind of standard driving and steering wheel controls with uh, cruise control on the right, um, volume and mode switch on the left. Um, I think this is CarPlay. I've never used that or anything, but um, 
It does come equipped with that as well. This is the premium option, so it kind of has that touchscreen built-in nav. I'm not sure if the sound quality is any different, but I will say I actually am impressed with the sound quality of this car. Um, your typical climate controls and whatnot. This right here, I believe, is um, just wiring for the what the previous owner had. Um, if this is OEM or something and I'm just totally missing on what it actually is, someone please let me know. But I believe this is for um, previous wiring, perhaps for like a sub or something. Um, the first thing I actually did when I got this car, a friend of mine actually had this Cobb um, shift knob that I absolutely love. Um, in comparison to what the stock shift knob was, this is uh, a great feel. This is the premium option. Excuse how dirty it is. If you guys saw in the first, at the beginning of this video, I do have um, a mini Husky and yeah, she sheds. So that's kind of what some of her hair is doing here whenever she rides with me. But uh, yeah, you have your heated seats and whatnot, um, leather seats all around with the nice WRX embroidered right there on the top. Um, but other than that, it's nothing uh, nothing too crazy on the interior. Um, the hatchback's really spacious and whatnot. And um, being that I'm like 6'1", 6'2", I have plenty of space sitting here comfortably. You have your full automatic controls. Um, over here, we got the automatic windows and whatnot. Both seats are actually manually controlled, which I don't care about at all. I just thought that would be something I should note. Um, coming up here to the top, we do have our fully um, automatic sunroof. Pretty cool feature as well. It looks really good when it's open and um yeah we have kind of the clusters right here got the subaru display up here um equipped with uh, all your standard like bluetooth um connect to like usb cable and whatnot um am fm all of that we have a little display up here that's kind of showing me temperature and the time of course the five-speed transmission is great it makes for um, a great daily driver with still plenty of get up but um certainly the longer years are nice when driving in a busy city like seattle so yeah, that's kind of just a brief walk around of the car, um, as you can see here. And uh, this is probably my 17th or 18th car I've ever owned. And I will say it's not like any cars, any other cars I've owned. I'm really impressed with uh, just everything about it. Um, it's certainly not the fastest car by any means, but uh, it certainly gets up to speed pretty well. And uh, the fact that it has a turbocharger, all wheel drive, it's relatively spacious considering it's the hatchback option. Um, all of that pairs for a really good daily. Um, this was kind of my take at a somewhat practical daily, believe it or not, for living in Seattle. That being said, I did come from an extremely lifted, uh, I'm pretty sure it was getting about single digits of gas Jeep Wrangler. I'll post that up right here. Yeah, I'm happy to jump more in depth with this car and um, it certainly does have a few issues associated with it, certainly just uh, cosmetic issues, but I also wanted to talk a little bit more about the buying procedure and why you should be really cautious when you buy from a used car dealership as I bought this one, especially with a car like a Subaru WRX or any sort of sports car, turbocharged car, because issues can be extremely prevalent. Um, I'll save all that for another video. Um, I'm hoping to upload more frequently seeing as I kind of don't have anything that I can really do for kind of that two to three month window after uh, surgery just because uh, you don't want to risk re-herniating re -herniating your disc, which is kind of what I went through was a microdiscectomy. So I'm going to take it pretty easy, but I'm hoping to upload videos a little bit more. So let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. And uh, I'm going to give you guys a little startup clip and that'll do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.